Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is a two-stage monochrome conversion method. It's quite simple, but it gives you a great deal of control. In particular, you're doing the color conversion first, deciding what colors can be what shades of tones, and then uh, an additional tonality adjustment afterwards. So start off, adjustments, black and white, and then literally the principle here is just to go down here and tweak and see what happens. So red, there's a little bit of things here. You can pull things up a little bit from that or maybe leave it and go back to it later. Yellow is going to be in foliage. So you turn up foliage, it's going to get brighter. Also in the in stonework there. So maybe make this darker because then you're getting a lot of contrast in here against the rest of the picture. Green is going to be often the highlights within the tree. So it's often good to turn down the yellow, but then turn up the green to get a bit of highlight in that. And then you can sort of play with it to get the balance of that. You get a similar effect in the sky. So the cyan is going to be the broad sky. In this, by the way, watch out if you turn it all the way down. Look, if there's any banding in here, it'll highlight it because it's very short steps within this, particularly if you've got an 8-bit image. And if there are any blobs in the sky, uh, dust bunnies or whatever, there you can see those as well. So you've got to be careful about that. Maybe go in and do some extra editing. The blue is going to be more the upper sky. You can see there that's lots darkening out that down there a bit. So go as much as you can, but maybe later go in and edit that. Magenta, um, it often doesn't do very much. You can just try it. Sometimes it's important, particularly with there's more reds. The reds here, let's go back to this again. It's often worth going round and round if necessary. And that's going to pull up some of the highlights within that. So there you go. That's the black and white one. And then we're going to do the next one is going to do tonality. So you can either use something like the gradient map or you can use curves. So if I use curves here, I'm just putting that uh, above there. You can always be nested in whichever way you use it. And then I can put, you know, bring in S curves here or whatever and just play with this. Add additional points if needed if I want to bring some shape into this, but that if generally an S-curve will add to the contrast, which is largely what you'll tend to want to do with this here. You can also afterwards put another layer on top there and paint in some of the areas which are just going to be just annoying, like the little white bit there. That's a bit of a, a bugbear, so I'm going to click on that. Take a little bit of, of black there, but at lower opacity, I've got 10%. Let's turn that up a little bit. And just paint a little bit in on top of here just to hide that those just those little distractions you might want to do entirely up to you it depends what bugs you and what doesn't but anyway that's it and very simply it's gone from before to after and uh, i think it gives you quite a reasonable amount of control that's it and thank you very much for watching